I just want to welcome you all to this engaging conversation. Um, I'm glad to be a recipient of uh, all of the knowledge and the uh, experiences of our panel. And, uh, and I also hope that you enjoy this evening and you walk away with a kernel of knowledge and something that you can do and be more proactive in this effort to understand uh, the, the plight of those that have been less fortunate and certainly have been uh, underserved in our society, in American society. Juneteenth is a holiday that is celebrated by many in festive ways. Uh, some even recognized um, the holiday by raising uh, the flag for symbolic reasons. Today here in the city of Framingham, we thought it was important that we start with education, that we start with the process of uncovering this untold history in Juneteenth and in others in order to create space for learning and the opportunity to discuss the impact in which this uncovering has on us today. Um, I actually learned about Juneteenth from my cousin who um, I remember one day she was asking me, this is like back when I was in high school, if I had the day off because it was Juneteenth. And I was like, what's Juneteenth? Like, why would I have the day off on Juneteenth? And she went to explain like <clears throat> how basically Juneteenth is our like day of freedom. like. During July 4th, we were still slaves when the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. And like Juneteenth was the actual day that we were free. And ever since then, um, I honestly started hearing about it more. And then it kind of went national to the point where I think yesterday was the day where the Senate approved of it to be a national holiday. So like if people want to take it off, they can still get paid, which is really cool. But to me, Juneteenth is and I was kind of telling um, Eric about this yesterday. It's my July 4th. Uh, it's the day that I kind of want to have a barbecue and celebrate my day of independence. I don't really care for July 4th ever since I've learned about Juneteenth. And yeah, I don't know. It's very important to know, especially as a person of color in America. So when my great great grandfather, Emmanuel, learned that they were free, his, he took his wife. Um, to the edge of the cotton field and said, you know, we are free now and only God is our master. I did not know about Juneteenth until uh, about 30 years ago uh, when I, at, I was working at Digital Equipment Corporation in Maine, Massachusetts. And one of my coworkers, who was a black gentleman, asked me, uh, I was telling her, I was celebrating my wedding anniversary, which was on June 19th. And he said, oh, so you got married on June 19th. I said, I didn't know that. I know it was June 19th, but I had no clue that it was on the same day. But that required me to actually go and do a little bit of research around it. So come this uh, June 19th, I'll be celebrating 45 years married to my beautiful bride. So it would always be uh, some time that I remember it. And also about 20 years ago, I learned about the Black Wall Street so what both of those incidents did for me, made me go back and just look at some history. What was left out of our history books? Why did I know that? And I was feeling like I was cheated because nothing in school prepared me or even let me know about those things. In 2000, I decided that I didn't know enough history, black history of myself. So basically what I did is I used all my education and my knowledge and I started a magazine company. And one of the things that I wanted to do is every month I put up black history facts. So I just started researching and learning and, and all these things came to me. And so every month I would put, put them up, put them up and I would find more and more. And that's when I learned about Juneteenth and black wall street. And I got so many emails from so many people saying, wow, where did you get this information? Where did it come from? How did you find this? I've never heard of this. And I just, and, it, and emails came from all over the world. So I was actually very surprised that many people didn't know it. I didn't feel so alone. <laughs> Let me share to the audience some closing remarks. One, this is everybody's holiday. Whether you have uh, African-American or wherever you are, this is everybody's holiday. It is a holiday of the celebration of freedom and independence. 
and it does not negate our celebration of Flag Day. It does not negate our celebration of July 4th. But if anything, this national holiday and recognition completes the story of the American story.